Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from TechStore and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest HP FB series of uh, Victus laptops and this is the AMD Ryzen variant that uh, HP has launched with the RTX 2050. So if you've already purchased this laptop, then you can watch this video to know how to upgrade the laptop, put in a SSD, upgrade the RAM and know the internals of this entire laptop. If you've not purchased, you can make your buying decision after watching this video. So the model that we are reviewing today is a HP Victus FB1001AX and it has got a AMD Ryzen 5 7535HS processor with 6 core and 12 threads and uh, it has got a RTX 2050 4GB graphic card. It comes with uh, 8GB DDR5 and uh, it comes with a 512GB Gen 4 NVMe SSD. All the FB series will look exactly the same and if you want to upgrade the same process will be applied. So let us uh, have a look at the exterior of this particular laptop. On the top here, uh, you'll have the Victus logo seen and the standard HP Victus design has continued. Absolutely no difference whatsoever. Uh, very high quality polycarbonate uh, has been used. Uh, design by HP is mentioned over here and uh, the Victus logo is mentioned over here. It's got this uh, matte finish. A little bit of fingerprint smudging might be there, but not all that much. So once you open the laptop, uh, you will see three-sided uh, nano bezel uh, it, it's got a 15.6 inches full HD 144 Hertz refresh rate screen with uh, 250 nits and 45% uh, NTSC the wobble is not all that much we will check it uh, later the keyboard uh, layout also is uh, the standard uh, Victus layout uh, with the power button almost at the center of the keyboard that's not something that we would desire but that's the way it is the keys are very nicely placed uh, uh, very good size of the key and the, even the key travel is pretty good. It comes with a single color backlit keyboard. It does not have RGB. Then you have seen these uh, perforations over here. These are not speakers. These are uh, for air inlet. This is what uh, HP says. Uh, basically for air inlet, this particular vent has been there. It's got a rectangular uh, trackpad and it has got multi gesture. All the gestures are supported of Windows 10. And the numlock pad also keys over here. You've got Ryzen 5 7000 series uh, uh, stickering as well as the N NVIDIA RTX stickering. The same color which was there has been continued, absolutely the same jet black. Let's show uh, the left side of this particular laptop. You have the charging uh, pin barrel over here. This is where you put in your charging pin. Then the charging pin indicator. You have a USB 3.0. You have a headphone mic combi and uh, you have a SDMMC card reader. Laptop is not slim, but not very, very fat also. On the front, there are absolutely no IOs. You can very comfortably open the laptop because of this uh, little notch that they have given over here. On the right, uh, you have a C-type uh, port. You have a Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet. You have another USB Gen 3.1 port. You have a HDMI 2.1 over here. This C-type port also can uh, give you external display along with the HDMI. So if you want to have a multi-monitor setup, this makes sense. On the rear, uh, there are absolutely no IOs and this huge uh, dissipation vent area is over here. So all the heat that is generated is exhausted from this particular part in the rear. The base is also very clutter-free and uh, large vents are there uh, for air intake and exhaust. Good amount of perforation has been given. The speaker uh, grill is over here, left and right. This is where the Bang & Olufsen speakers come from. From. and uh, the rudders are also pretty neatly placed this is a little smaller one this is a little thicker and a bigger one so it gives you differential and good amount of air can uh, go inside the laptop from the rear so let's now dig deep into the laptop and have a look at uh, what are the inners of this particular laptop how to upgrade the various aspects of this particular laptop first thing first you need to flip the laptop and uh, you'll see some screws over here and over here which we need to remove Take a star screwdriver and start removing them. Now you need to take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from the side. There will be crackling sound, don't worry too much. After a majority of the part is uh, removed, you can just use your finger. 
So these are the inners of the HP Victus FB series of laptops. The AMD Ryzen variant. This is the battery. This is the NVMe SSD. M.2 NVMe Gen 4 SSD. Western Digital Black Edition that they have given. Wi Fi. Two fans. The thermal heat sink. The pipes over here. This is the processor. This is the graphic card. This is the RAM bay area. I don't know why they left this space over here. They could have had a bigger battery actually. So let's start with the battery first. Need to remove these screws. Come off. The battery part code is SD03XL. This is the battery that you need to buy. And uh, the battery power ratings are 52.5 watt hours, 11.55 volts. So just if you want to replace the battery, come up till here, take a new battery like this and put it over here. Moving on to the part where the M.2 SSD is, need to remove this screw over here. The best part is any entry level Victus also comes with a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So this particular NVMe SSD over here is a Western Digital Black SSD. It comes uh, with SN810 by default over here. It's a very good thing, giving you a read rate for around 6,900 to 7,500 Mbps. So we're very happy about this particular aspect of HP Victus laptops actually. So just take another M.2 NVMe SSD like this, 2280 form factor, and you can upgrade up to two terabyte storage in total. Just take it like this, remove and then put it like this. Coming to the part where uh, RAM is, as you can see it has got two RAM bay area. So just need to use your two thumb fingers and remove the RAM like this. And uh, the RAM that they've given here for a Ryzen 5 7000 series uh, AMD Ryzen 5 is a 4600 MHz DDR5 uh, one rank 16x RAM. So you just need to buy a similar RAM like this. This is a DDR5. It's a very good thing that the entry level Ryzen 5 Victus has got a DDR5 in it. You can upgrade this particular laptop up to 64 GB comfortably by putting 32 GB into two in these two RAM DIMM slots. Just take another RAM like this and uh, you can very comfortably insert it any one of the bays over here. Just insert it like this and press and you're good to go. This is the Wi-Fi chip. This is the speaker. If you want to replace the speaker, just need to remove this particular notch over here, the speaker uh, connector and uh, the speaker is connected over here with one wire. There are screws over here to remove the speaker. You need to unscrew them. One, two, three, four, and the speaker will come off. Two fans, so you want to replace the fan. Both have separate power connector. Just need to remove this uh, power connector over here. Remove this uh, power connector over here. And the fan will come off. I'm going to replace the fan. This is the fan. Let's take a similar fan. In a scenario, your fan has gone bad and uh, you need to put it back like this. Put in the power connector. And put in all the screws. So you cannot put another uh, M.2 NVMe SSD, only one SSD over here. So this is most of it. So let us let us put the battery back. And you're good to go. Just need to put the back cover back. And 
are good to go over here. Now let me show the speaker quality of this particular laptop. Now let's see the audio quality of the HP Victus FPC laptops. The sound is uh, pretty loud uh, for bang and officer, but it is pretty tinny also. It's not, uh, it does not have a lot of bass, if you ask me. So, a little bit of bass would have been better. But all in all, a good loudspeaker for this uh, price range. Let us see if the laptop opens with a one hand operation. Yes, but all in all, uh, the weight distribution is pretty good. Let's see the top flex over here. There's a good amount of flex you can see. Let's see the keyboard flex. Keyboard flex is very, very minimal, uh, almost zero. I can say. Now let me show the webcam quality of this particular laptop. Video shot from the webcam of the HP Victus FB and uh, as you can see the video quality is very good and even the audio quality is uh, pretty good because of the dual array microphone. So big thumbs up on the web camera of the HP Victus FB series of laptops. So this my friends was a video showing you the review and the upgrade process of the HP Victus FB uh, 1001AX. This applies for all the AMD Ryzen 5 based laptop that HP Victus has launched and if the laptop looks the way it is in this particular uh, video, you can apply this particular process. So in the process, we have shown you how to uh, upgrade the RAM. You can upgrade the RAM up to 32 GB comfortably, 16 plus 16 GB. It has got two memory slots, DDR5, 4800 MHz. It has got a fantastic M.2 NVMe. Gen 4 SSD which gives you read write speeds of up to 6500 to 7000 Mbps. It's got a fantastic battery, 57 watt hour battery it has and uh, a pretty large battery gives you comfortable battery backup for around uh, 3 to 4 hours on a good amount of usage. The weight is around 2.29 kgs, it comes with Wi-Fi 6, uh, it comes with Bluetooth 5.2 and uh, it comes preloaded with uh, Windows 11 and MS Office lifetime license in it. So all in all, it is a good package. Uh, the webcam quality is also very good. The speaker is also pretty fantastic. All in all, a very good packaging at this given price point here, under 55,000 rupees in India. This is 2024 uh, Jan uh, that we are shooting this video and the prices are under 55,000 rupees and dropping by the day. So it's a fantastic buy for you if you want to buy a laptop for your video editing, for uh, any architectural purposes, for gaming, and you have a tight little budget. This is the laptop you should buy. Thank you so much for watching guys, uh, do let us know if suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us.